Hi, this is R.G. Morse, author of Man Up in 10 Lessons. Today I'm uh, joining you for a brief video to dispel the myth that Canadians are somehow primitive folk who live in the middle of nowhere, uh, who are simply not modern and uh, hip. Okay, so what we're going to do today is uh, quickly go through our normal daily procedures uh, when we are leaving on our morning commute to work. So if you'll come with me, I'll introduce you to a typical Canadian commute. Come on. Luckily, of course, uh, the weather is quite mild this time of year, so we don't have to contend with the usual conditions that slow our commutes down. Come with me. Should have worn taller boots. Contrary to popular belief, we do in fact have vehicles in Canada. Uh, just like you, we drive to work quite often and you'll see in the background my vehicle of choice. That's right, you'll recognize it immediately as a 1988 BJ74 Toyota Land Cruiser right-hand drive 3.4 liter turbo diesel twin battery NATO spec. In other words, your typical mid-size Canadian vehicle. Like most really good Canadian machines and uh, devices that we use, ours is Japanese. This is my sled dog you might see prancing around from here from time to time. Scout, the wonder dog. Very Canadian dog, an Australian Labrador. Good work, Scout. Good work. Scout, you guard for bears. Now, in addition to a 12-pack of Canadian beer, every Canadian vehicle needs a brush to brush off the light skiff of snow that occasionally accumulates on our vehicles. And here's one right here. Every real man should have one of these in his car because you never know, even if you're watching this from Arizona or Morocco or something, you never know. The technique's quite simple. You simply place the brush on the roof, for example, and pull it gently towards you, being very careful not to find yourself trapped under the cascading heavy snow. Just last week, an elderly gentleman died doing this, trapped under about five feet of snow that he pulled off the roof of his car. Shit does happen. Okay, so I think you get the point. So I'm going to go ahead and complete this. There's no need for you to watch the whole thing. Uh, and in my next video, I'm going to introduce you to Canadian maritime behavior we're going to go boating. So until then, take off, eh? And have a great day, eh?